hey folks welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a to-do list app in google app sheet so basically this to-do list app lets you write organize and maybe prioritize your tasks more efficiently so in this video we'll be creating a to-do list app using google app sheet and that will allow you to create tasks add deadlines and stuff like that and get them done on time additionally we'll be using the automation features in google app sheet to send out emails as soon as a task is completed maybe a confirmatory email saying good job your you complete your task and stuff like that so let's just get started basically this is the main google sheet that i have this is the to-do list google app sheet google sheet that i have here if you want to work with it i'll be leaving that link in the description you can check that out we have the categories tasks deadline status of the task and maybe some additional notes if you want to add it to the activities what basically the first sheet contains it has categories under which there are some tasks which have a deadline with the task status of the task and some additional notes required then we move on to the status section so we're going to be using this as a reference for the app so we can use this google sheet as a reference in the activities tab we'll i'll be showing you how to do that later then uh, we're going to be looking at the status of tasks we have completed in progress not completed and stuff like that we'll be making some slices using these statuses and stuff like that and then i'm Go to categories these are the categories under which i can make i can or i can make or i can add activities that i want to do in the app and uh, yeah so this is the bit this is the these are the sheets so let's just go ahead and create the app so there are two ways but to do that there's going to be basically my apps i go click on this start with your data or i directly go to my extensions go to app sheet and create an app personally i prefer create a new app by this i'm going to start with my own data i'm going to say to do list app right and i'm going to be choosing this to be say maybe productivity i'm going to choose my data here and it's going to be to do list app google app sheet right so i'm going to select this and in a few seconds your app will get set up let's just wait for that to happen okay so here we can see our app is ready we can see all the activities that are there here and let's just go ahead and customize the app right so here you can see if i click on this you can see task deadline status of the task and notes and uh, my view has already automatically um, sorted it and grouped by i think i don't want to do the sorting thing i just want it to be grouped by the category i'm just going to click on save here right so the next thing that we're going to be doing is we'll be adding all the tables that are there so i'm going to be adding the status table i'm going to click on add this table and i'm going to click on new table i'm going to be adding categories i'm going to add this table right so now we can see all the tabs have been added so I'm just going to go to my UX. I don't want status to be a view. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. I'm going to click on delete. Okay. So now that we have our data there, I think it's time to do some referencing here. So when I go click here in the categories, I want, I don't want to manually type out the categories. I want them to select the category. So I'm going to go to my data, go to columns, go to activities here, and I'm going to be going to my categories. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click on ref. You know, specify the categories google sheet i'm going to click on done see now the categories are there so i can make expenses i mean i'm sorry i can make to-do list activities under these categories then we have the name of the task that this user or the person who's adding it has to do it manually then we have the status of the task so for the status of the task i'm going to go to my task here i'm going to click on ref and i'm going to be selecting status here i'm going to click on done once again i can select it right i'm going to click cancel i'm going to go and click on save here okay so now i'm going to go ahead and we're just going to be adding another activity to the app i'm going to go to categories i'm going to say kitchen i'm going to say buy oops i'm going to say buy new teacups and i'm going to say i want it to be 30th june by say 12 30 right and status is in progress task is go to target and buy them and go ahead and click on save i'm going to refresh the app you can see if you go to the kitchens you can see buy new teacups with the category as come right so basically we have completed our activities category status it's now time to create a new slice so basically in this view if i go to my ux and i sort them by the status of the task you can see there are four completed tasks that are in progress and not completed right so this this view contains basically all the uh, what do you call all, all the types of statuses right but i want a specific view where i can only see the pending tasks that i have right so for that we're going to be doing slices and um, i'm going to be creating a separate task where only activities whose statuses are are, are are like not completed right 
that's those views I want to see, right? So I'm just going to name this as pending. I'm going to be clicking on activities. And um, in the filter condition, I'm going to go to columns. I'm going to be inserting insert task is uh, not equal to it's not equal to completed. So let's see if this formula works. The value of the column status of task is not equal to completed, right? So I'm going to go ahead and click on save. Click save here. So, okay, now that we've created this slice, let's just go ahead and create a new view here. I'm going to name this as pending tasks. So you can see right now there are only three activities. But if I go back here, I can see there are n number of activities. But these are the tasks that are whose statuses are not completed in progress, right? So you can see that. I'm going to change the logo of this. Is there anything that says pending? Or uh, maybe tasks. Something like this, right? And I want to move this to the left. And so this can be the first view that the user sees. I'm just going to click on save and um, right so this is what we have done here so this is all for this video i hope you have understood how to set up the basic to-do list app in the next video we're going to be using some automation to send out emails as soon as a task is completed for more content hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video